points. I think one of the things that Rob mentioned earlier on HBSS, which is the program we support today with our endpoint and our network solutions, um, is, is a key component of, of securing the, the government, specifically, obviously, the military side of the house, um, from the endpoint through the network to the cloud, right? And we're doing that in an open framework, which allows us to get where, where um, Joe and, and Sam have just mentioned, which is the interoperability in heterogeneous, not homogeneous, but sure. heterogeneous sure. environments, right? So now you have the ability in which to be able to plug in multiple different types of solutions to be able to provide that management, that situational awareness, and to be able to provide it in a way in which the government can use it. Now, how do we take that a step forward? Well, we take that a step forward by not only having the, the DOD side of the house be protected in that manner, but obviously to try to work with DHS and, and our other civilian agency community leaders to, to be able to bring that towards a civilian-based, sure. we'll call it, approach in HBSS for civilian. Um, and to, to progress that even further, if you take the, the thought process of, of intelligence in the cloud, right, we have all these sensors that are collecting data and, and acting upon that data in real time, how do we take it from a reactive manner to a predictive manner, right. okay? Well, how you do that is to, uh, to provide information. Well, right now, that information is RIP. So how do we take that, provide it down to our government customers for them to be able to actually mine that data, right. utilize the information that we get in real time with hundreds of millions of sensors worldwide, and then act upon that data, right? So that's probably the, the next step to um, what we're doing today, which would in turn hopefully enhance the, the security coverage of the government across the board.